Hi friends, Miss Brandy here today and I would like to read to you this story that's about nocturnal animals. Nocturnal animals are animals that go to sleep when the sun's up and they come up out of their sleep when the sun goes down and the moon's up. So that means they're only awake during the nighttime. Nightlife. There is a busy world when the sun goes down. At night, nocturnal animals are on the go. They have adapted to life in the darkness. Nocturnal animals see well in the darkness. Frogs use their bulging eyes to spot insects. Their night sight also helps them leap between tree branches. I don't know about you, but it would be pretty hard for us to jump between tree branches without good eyesight in the dark. Nocturnal animals use their sense of smell to help them in the dark. Foxes are able to track their prey, or the animals they would eat, with their noses. They have a very good sense of smell. Nocturnal animals have good hearing, too. Owls can hear their prey from far, far away. And large ears help mice hear sneaky predators. A mouse is, a pre is prey and would be eaten by a larger animal. So they use their, their big ears so they can hear and be able to sense when danger's coming. Hungry nocturnal animals come out at night to eat. The darkness helps tigers and leopards hide and they quietly can sneak up on their prey. Remember that's called prowling. Bats use echolocation to find food in the darkness. They make noises and listen for echoes. Large ears help them find their prey. They're using the vibrations from different sounds. It's called echolocation. Most owls hunt for the food at night too. Large eyes help them spot small animals in the darkness. Owls have some very amazing eyes to be able to be up in a tree in the dark and see a little mouse down on the ground crawling. It's pretty amazing. Nocturnal animals sleep during the day. Bats hang out in caves and foxes live inside dark dens. Owls sleep in barns or trees. These are bats right here sleeping in a cave. They hang upside down. Oh, and those are some activities. Great story. Um, teaches you a little bit about nocturnal animals. Maybe something that you and you can do, you can do with your moms and dads is um, maybe try and come up with as many nocturnal animals as you can and name as many as you can. Uh, maybe even play a game where you guys can blindfold each other and you have to try and fill your way through maybe from the couch to the to the uh, the next room or something. Anyway, have a great day friends and make sure you get some sunshine. We'll see you later. Bye.